Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and I spent the week between Christmas and New Year's in Las Vegas with some family and some friends, but I've also decided to, um, got some a Vegas construction update for you when covering the Horror Unleashed project from Universal, and also other Vegas area projects as well, including the Adventure Dome, including in the SpongeBob Dark Ride, and some other construction in there, so it's gonna be a cool little video, so let's go ahead and see what's going on in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're gonna start off with a construction project on the Strip, the Las Vegas Strip, this place, the former Hawaiian Gardens area, this is going to be a new retail development. Three stories called The Boulevard, and you see it's going to be supposed to be opening this year, and it's already almost done. I mean, look at all that scaffolding on there, and this going to be a corner lot. Here's There's a promotional image right there. I'm talking about what's coming. It's going to be a three-story um, entertainment center, and yeah, it's going to be really cool for a uh, um, really cool spot on the strip for bars, restaurants, and entertainment experiences. Here's a couple of closer shots. You see Walgreens is right there. And now this uh, Walgreens will be joined by this new awesome center. And here's a little promotional image poster rendering of what it'll be like. You have the big blade sign that is common in Vegas. And then you have a couple of escalators leading up to the top of the shopping center. After that, we drove on over to the Halloween Horror Nights area. This is Area 15. Uh, area 15, you see, obviously, is in the back. But this is... The Area 15 expansion, and yeah, the whole, teen, whole thing is 100 or 20 acres, but this is a 110,000 square foot expansion. Uh, our anchor tenant right here, Halloween Horror Nights Universal. You can see that all the walls are up. It looks uh, pretty massive. Funny, it said it was going to open, uh, you know, 2025, but the Las Vegas, Las Vegas Review Journal said it's going to open at the end of 2024. But Universal officially says end of 20 or er, 2025 so that's what we're gonna believe right now you can see that distinctive triangle shape um like they have in the concept art right over here and again it's they put up the walls and it's just hollow inside so they'll fill in the inside over the next of the coming months but yeah look how massive this thing is this is huge and this is right on the side of the street you can actually even see it from the freeway the 15 freeway yeah driving north or south along the along the side in Las Vegas ship, um, along the main spine of Vegas there. You can see some of the cutout, the window cutouts there, and some work trucks starting to, uh, are in front of the system, and then you see all those, the temporary wood pylons holding up these walls, uh, making sure they're sturdy, and then and when the concrete settles, they'll take them all down, um, and then will work on the interior structures as well. Here's a big empty plot of land. This is the rest of the project. This is the non, um, Halloween Horror Nights section. This is the Area 15. The rest of the expansion, there's a big uh, uh, half of a Boeing 747 jet. It's going to be here as part of this massive. Area 15 is basically like a whole bunch of art installations with experiences inside them. And yeah, it looks really cool. I'll try to put a picture of some concept art on here for you for the rest of the expansion, but it should be pretty cool. Here's the grand entrance to the Halloween Horror Nights. Unleashed attraction. It'll have a beautiful panoramic picture right here with you know, the Las Vegas, Las Vegas Strip Resorts World and uh, Trump Hotels right behind it. And here's it looks just like the concept art with the um, the window cutouts there and all the walls. So I'll be back here in spring break about March or April. So I'm excited to see the progress from then until now. Because they made quite a lot of progress. The first walls went up on December 18th. And this was shot about like December 22nd or so. So it was four days later. And then all these walls are up with all the cutouts. This is super cool. And this should, uh, yeah, maybe it will be open by the end of 2024. But again, Universal did say 2025. During this update, we made a loop. We actually we went along the ship to film Boulevard. Then made a loop to Area 15 now. <laughs> on our way home, because my uh, my family had fam family's house is in Southern Highlands, so on our way back to Southern Highlands, we are. I want to take a picture here. Or the Wizardress, actually, I was driving, but the Wizardress took a picture of the Dream Hotel. They have a Dream Hotel in, in Hollywood, but this will be a larger. This will be a twenty-five story Dream Hotel and Casino. It was supposed to open this year, but construction did pause. They are having a financing problem, but they said it would be restarting this year and maybe will open later this year or early 2025 this is actually right next to the world's largest pinball um factory or pinball place which is super cool but yeah this would be a nice kind of entrance hotel into the ships close enough to the strip where you know you can have all the fun even take the easy deuce bus for free or for eight bucks along the strip instead of driving and parking 
uh, but you don't get the hassle to ship. So this is pretty cool. And also, the, well, as you can see, the Welcome to Las Vegas sign is not too far from this hotel as well. Some of you may have not have heard that the U.S. government has given Brightline, which is on this picture here, a $3 billion grant to kickstart that high-speed rail between L.A. and Vegas. This right here where these contra or these construction fences are, uh, where the Brightline Vegas station will be. This is just north of that Dream Hotel over there. It's about halfway between the South Point Hotel Casino and the Strip. And yeah, they have a whole bunch of nice advertisements hyping everybody up. It's expected that the station or oh, system will be open by 2027 to 2028 time frame. And there, um, the station will be right here. But the whole station will be about 33 acres, but they have 110 or something, 100 plus acre property. So this will also potentially house a nice hotel and casino as well uh, that will welcome you into the Brightline station. So uh, stay tuned for that. And yeah, soon you may not have to take that drive in. Uh, into Vegas and sit in all that traffic and just take a nice train. We're going to end our video here with the Adventure Dome. We have a, here's a picture of the SpongeBob Dark Ride. It's located just outside the Adventure Dome. This, these are those construction walls. But um, this is supposed to open up this month, actually. It's supposed to open up last year, the end of last year. But got to late this month, so I'm very excited to ride this and give you a POV when I come back in January. And... Here are some construction work. Not sure, probably for a new ride, maybe a smallish type ride. Or, or it could be a thrill ride over here in the Adventure Dome underneath the uh, Canyon Blaster roller coaster on the back side of the theme park. Um, again, I saw some, I didn't see any crews on site, but there's uh, these construction um, vehicles here. Not sure what this is going to be. If you know, let me know in the comments below. And I'm sure this could be open by the summertime, spring or summertime. And there's just a good shot of the Canyon Blaster roller coaster going through its corkscrew right there. Vegas is ever evolving and always changing. And I, time to time, do some Vegas rumor videos on here. Um, if you like those, let me know uh, down below if you want me to do more Vegas rumor stuff. Because there's a um, couple of attractions opening and closing in Vegas. And um, the Las Vegas Review Journal just came out with 24 things to look forward to in 2024 in Las Vegas. And it's pretty cool. A lot of cool stuff coming to the city. But here are the more, most theme parky things, plus some additional construction updates. What do you guys think? What is the most anticipated project in Vegas? What type of Halloween Horror Nights house do you want to see in the, in the first phase of the rotation here? It'll be about maybe three, I think three permanent houses in a massive scare zone. So what IP would you like to see in that in the houses for uh, Halloween Horror Nights Unleashed? Let me know in the comments below. The best option over there, or most intriguing option, we'll go ahead and get a... Um, Three, a free theme park wizard pin, so comment your best options down below. And if you liked this video, press that thumbs up. Subscribe for more theme park updates and more updates on this particular project and more Vegas stuff. And as well as always, have a horrific day.